Nigeria then gets 4,971 cases of COVID-19. National Human Rights Commission don't release standard guidelines for human rights of COVID-19 patients. And federal government now don't reduce 2020 budget to 10.523 trillion naira. ESCC don't arrest one permanent secretary for inside or your state. Take of 4.4 million naira while you weigh him do. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is now time where we will take Yan Yutori as it take happen. My name is Adati Omukwe. Inside the first story where we carry come, Nigeria Center for Disease Control don't confirm 184 new cases of COVID-19 for inside the country, and the total number of infections don't reach 4,971. Lagos gets 51 new cases, while Jigawa State gets 23. Bauchi and Kasina get 16 cases each, while 14 new cases, 9 day inside Kano, 10 day inside FCT and River State, plus including Kwara, we get 9 cases. Delta and Kaduna get 5 cases each, while 4 cases day for inside Oyo and Sokoto State, while Kebi, Oshun and Nasara State get 3 cases each. We see here Seondo get 2 cases, while Ebony, Edo, Enugu, Anambra State, Plateau and Niger get 1 1 new case each. NCDC Commerce Control said the total number of patients will be they don't discharge now 1070 people plus including say 164 patients nine don't die of COVID-19 and for inside another Tory National Human Rights Commission don't come out now come bring a standard guidelines for human rights of COVID-19 patients for treatment centers for inside Nigeria now the executive secretary of the commission that's not Tony Ojuku now they yarn this one give to people on Wednesday for inside Abuja Oga Ojuku talks say the guidelines they in line with the work where be say the commission they do will be to protect and to promote human rights according by how we did for inside the law the guidelines now they talk about how they're supposed to treat COVID-19 patients and body matter people for inside the country. Ojuku come out when they squeeze face on top the one where we say security people they treat people anyhow plus including the plenty kill the kill where we say them they do. In come out when they toss anybody where we say you know obey the lockdown or the way they ground. May they carry the person go mobile court where we say now they go get in judgment instead of to come they beat them or to they treat them badly. They can maintain security, maintain the lockdown and also respect people's rights. It's very simple. If you feel somebody has violated the lockdown, you don't need to front up, uh, front up the person or start using a whip on the person or tell the person to go inside the water. There is a mobile court. You take the person to the mobile court. The mobile court will try the person and sentence the person. If somebody has violated the lockdown, do you need to use a gun and shoot him to death? This is something which, if he's proven guilty in the mobile court, is a sentence of fine that is not more than 100,000. Or community service, go and sweep the streets for two weeks. Go and work in the emergency in the hospital for one month. Is that much commensurate to somebody why somebody should lose his life? And sharply for inside another story, Senate President Ahmed Lawan and don't come out come talk to do one where we say them the torchlight the money where NDDC don't spend. Now to join hand with the torchlight where we say federal government don't give orders to make them do. Ogala and they yarn this one on Tuesday evening as in they inaugurate seven man ad hoc committee on top of the misusing of money for NDDC. In second, they talk to the Senate now they support all the other where we say the president don't give on top to torchlight this money where they misuse for NDDC. But we have a mindset. We have a mindset. And our mindset in the Senate is that we have to have a Niger Delta Development Commission that is effective and efficient in service delivery to the people of Niger Delta. This is the essence of setting up that commission. So we want to see a situation where the very limited resources that are appropriated for the Niger Delta Commission prudently, economically, and transparently deployed for the development of the Niger Delta. This is our mindset. 
and the chairman of ad hoc committee that now senator Olubemi at Detunbi. He come out on the talk say the allegation where we say he makes Senate to form the committee. Senator to touch light the 40 billion naira where we say NDDC misuse. Another matter where we say day ground. He come the promise say the committee go do well and they go be open minded so that they go fit to do their work well. We intend to discharge this responsibility openly without prejudice and without any preconceived opinion other than to be open and to ensure that our process of inquiry will be transparent for the public to see uh, in the best interest of our nation and the people of the Niger Delta. It is hoped that the investigation, when successfully carried out, will go a long way to block such loopholes that may prevent our public institutions from functioning properly in the best interest of the country and for the purposes for which they were established. And for inside another story, Federal Executive Council don't approve to make them revise the medium-term expenditure framework and 2020 budget. As they end this one, give state house to people after the first Federal Executive Council meeting where we see them do true video. The Minister of Finance, that's now Zainab Ahmed, he come out on the talks in a based on crude oil benchmark of $25 per barrel with production output of 1.94 million barrels per day. The Council even approved more than 47 billion naira to use provide additional 40 megawatts of electricity to national Grid. The Minister of Power, that's Nasali Maman, he come out on the talk say them go come out the 40 megawatts from Kashimbila Dam inside Taraba State, where we say them they generate power. The Minister of Power comes to come, they explain say the additional 40 megawatts go improve power supply for inside Taraba and Benue State, plus including all northeast region inside the country. In see come out on the talk say them if they no come out the power where we say they generate from source, say Nigeria go lose about 120 gigawatts of power will be the same thing as $9 million for inside one year. And still on top of the matter, Federal Executive Council approved $683 million, make them use by 19 motor for operations for inside Nigerian Port Authority, that's now NPA. The Minister of Transport, that's now Rotimi Amechi, he come as constant talks in the first time where before inside four years, where NPA go buy motor, in the come as the talks in the motor where be seen a Toyota product, the management staff no go use them at all at all. As a young for inside there, Minister of Information and Culture, that's now Galai Mohamed, he come as contact the activities and programs where we say the federal government they do, so he will continue to the run even as COVID-19 day ground. The last Federal Executive Council meeting been happened for inside March 18th, where we say they can't suspend sick of matter of COVID-19. And we come out from inside that to re-enter the next one. They don't appoint before Nigerian diplomats, that's now Professor Ibrahim Gambari, as new chief of staff to President Muhammad Buhari. As matters still be, President Buhari now announced the appointment by 11.30 for morning on Wednesday, will be 13th of May 2020. Before they come and start their Federal Executive Council meeting, where we see them do for video. Person will be represented now the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, that's now Boss Mustafa. Then we do one minute silence to take honor before members of Federal Executive Council for different times. And we see here say before Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, late Chief Richard Akinjide, them still honor late Chief of Staff, that's Namalam Abakiari, and Halilu Al Hassan, will be before Minister of Health, plus including Paul Wampana and the Minister of State for Public Health inside Second Republic. Oga Ibrahim Gambari don't replace late Malam Abakiari, we die sick of coronavirus. As matters still be, Ibrahim Gambari, we did 75 years, him come from Kwara State and him been done serve Nigeria as for different areas, plus including Minister for External Affairs for 1983 and 1985, under the regime of before military head of state, General Muhammad Buhari. After them appoint him, Professor Gambari can tell State House to read people, say him go do well for him new office. I thank the Almighty Allah for the opportunity and the President of the Federal Republic for giving me this opportunity to serve him and, of course, uh, the country. I think he demands loyalty, competence, and support. So what would be your guiding principles as to serve? To serve the President to the best of my ability. 
And still on top of the story for another one, we have Sekogi State Governor, that's Nayahaya Bello. He don't come out now, come to congratulate Professor Ibrahim Gambari for his new appointment as Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari. Ogabello Yam for insights of paper in Chief Press Secretary Onogu Mohamed Ben Karikom on Wednesday. He come out, come to talk to Oga Gambari Sabines for different things and experience. Say they very cajad. Ogabello see talk say he don't say where BC Oga Gambari they do better work. And say he don't serve for many areas, both for Nigeria and outside Nigeria, especially for United Nations. Yaya Bello comes to come out when they pray say Almighty Allah will give him better sense to take do in work. And for inside another story where we carry come, Ibadan Zonal Office of EFCC, we hear say they don't carry one permanent secretary for inside of your state Ministry of Agriculture, that's na Al Haji Razak Kolawole, carry go court. Sick of say them alleged say him Dagbo one Ibukule Alonge of 4.4 million naira. They carry and go front of justice Aderon K. Aderemi of Oyo State High Court on Wednesday. On top one count charge of say him do person wayo to collect money. The victim being right complaint give ESCC, say them. Come they accuse the permanent secretary, say him do am why you can't collect him money as part payment for the land where B say they for inside a labata for Olosoko area of Monia for inside Ibadan. He see come the talks after him pay the money finish, he come find out say na one late Mrs. Ali na he get the land. And say he don't try where where to see how he wanted collecting money back, but it no come been happen. Justice Aderemi now been grant the permanent secretary bill. Say of say him na senior person where he be for inside the state after he been pleading saying know they guilty on top of the matter. They can't shift the matter go June 24th and 25th, 2020 for trial. And still on top court matter for inside FCT. Mobile court now waited on for inside Godu district of FCT on Wednesday. He done sentenced one Mr. Sunday Okoro to one month for inside prison without any option of fine. Second say he slap one policewoman for inside court. Mr. Okoro been still beat one woman where he say if they work for inside Nigeria Correctional Service, where we come here saying we push the security woman for ground, as them they argue. Magistrate Abdurazak Musa we handle the matter. He been see what thing happen. We come make him now to tell Luka for seeing him go day prison for 31 days. And still on top of the matter as everything they happen, chairman of a ministerial tax team on top COVID-19, that's now Ikaruata. He come as come they tell people where we say then their temper to the rise. Say them go learn from what thing happen to Okora for. As matter still be, it, Still on top of everything where they happen, Okora for being come out when they cry, they beg for mercy. But the prison workers now don't carry and go Kuji prison. And still for inside FCT, FCT Ministerial Tax Team on top COVID-19 don't arrest 68 passengers where busy they did inside two Dangote trailer where they come from Zaria and Kaduna plus another trailer where carry fertilizer from Edo State. As matters still be, the tax team now been see them around Zuba area and they can't detail the driver say make him open the back of the motor, make them see what him carry. Last last then carry them go court for front of magistrate Ibiwari Danimi for Zuba mobile court where them can later sentence Abdul, Abdul Sani will be Dangote trailer driver plus including Mukhtar Osman will be the fertilizer trailer driver. The magistrate will be saying handle their case also find the 68 passengers 5,000 naira. Con rules say security people now go escort them back to where they need to come from. According to Bayata, the people will be saying them catch and 17 passengers where they travel from Zaria, Lokoja and Asaba for inside Delta State. And another 16 people where they travel from Kanu to Lokoja and or Bajana for inside Kogi State, and 25 people now where they they travel from Edo State to Zaria inside Kaduna State, plus including the driver. As a matter still be, the driver of Dangote trailer, that's now Abdul Sani, he been called the back, so they no send them back to Zaria, and say security people now been done arrest them for inside Kaduna Road, where they say the courts been fined them 5,000 naira, can allow him to continue his journey to Lokoja with the people where they say him carry. And still on top matter of interstate travel, we hear say interstate travel from inside FCT is still they happen. Even as FCT, they try to enforce the ban on top interstate travel. Our story person will be Joy Eberebe. She been visit Jabi Park and she come out come report talk say the park been day closed, but some motor be park outside. The gates can't see the load passengers. Some drivers been carry three people for inside their car, and now five thousand naira nine per, one person they pay to go Kaduna, Kanu, and Makodi. As the matter still be, some drivers now where we say they've been yanned with our tourist person. They come as when they talk say then they pay bribe of three thousand naira to the security people waiting for border before they go allow them to pass. 
Make we pause here small to bring you business and sports story. <music> And for inside business, a return traders association for inside UTC, they come out on the back FCTA, they make them allow them to start business. As if they say they don't do all the things where they say they don't tell them to do, to take prevent themselves, to make sure say them no catch or spread COVID-19. The chairman of the association, that's now Obina Okoli, he come out on the tell out to repress in Joy Iberi they say them no open for two months and say it don't really affect them badly. Oga Okoli come to tell the association, say they don't write letter carry give FCT minister and say they want they be meeting for inside last week to talk to Raman to tell them say they don't really ready to follow all the health guidelines where they ground. Even as them close their plaza, we hear say business activities still they happen outside for inside that area. This now business story, make we check with Indy for sports. And for inside sports story, we hear the Mexican clubs now, plus including league champions, that's now Monterrey, say that they follow before Super Eagles captain, that's now Mikel Obi. And according by the report, one team from inside Mexico, they eye the mute feather, and the fit consider a major signing for inside the club. The club fits make move to go collect the player before BC them starts Mexican lead after a matter of COVID-19 don't end. As matters still be, Mikel now currently be free agent after he come out from a Turkish club where they call Transos Sport for inside March 20. 20. As in being talks, they made them cancel Turkish League, sake of matter of coronavirus. We see here, say, Brazilian club, where they call Botafogo, and the international city, the I am too. And that's one of the first story for inside sports. Make we check the second one. We are say the lawyers of Brazilian footballer, that's now Ronaldinho, say as a matter be there, they hope say them fit free am, so that Ingo fit go house. After he don't spend like two months inside prison for inside Paraguay, sake of matter of fake passports. Ronaldinho and his brothers now they face up to five years for inside jail, sake of matter of fake passports. And now here we go come out mouth on top as it take happen. But before we go, may I still remind you all to read them, we'll be line up for front. We will tell you say Nigeria don't get 4,971 cases of COVID-19. And the Human Rights Commission now.com released standard guidelines for human rights of COVID-19 patients. Federal governments don't reduce 2020 budget to 10.523 trillion naira. And EFCC don't arrest one permanent secretary for inside of your state. Take of 4.4 million naira while you weigh him do. Now all the Tory biddies and as it take couple now you just hear. My name is Adati Omupi. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.